I'm back at Universal Studios Hollywood for a quick Jurassic World update. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss out on all the new content I have every single week. So today I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on Jurassic World because there has been some progress since the last video I did. And uh, more significantly, they have revealed the archway. All the scaffolding is down. Before we get to that though, let's look at some of the rock work. They've completed some of it like this piece right here over here and right there and it looks like they're inside the planters or like over the top of the planters that actually looks kind of nice so again i like this entire new plaza area they've designed here and they've added this big palm tree right here and i think they've added this palm tree right here as well so good progress compared to the last video they've definitely been adding more trees and working on the rock work at the new raptor encounter you can see that this uh, pathway goes deeper into the structure so i wonder if people are gonna walk down into it, or if this is just like more foundation work for electrical and all that fun stuff. But they have put up the other uh, side of the cage structure, so that looks to be complete. And this building itself just looks the same uh, like in the last video. Not really sure what this white thing is right here. It looks like a sign, but uh, do any of you guys know what that is? Comment down below if you do. Again, there's two different doors on this, so I wonder how this is gonna work when it's all, I mean, I'm sure we'll find out once it's all complete, but still trying to figure out if this thing's gonna be inside or it's gonna be right here and this is where the photo op is or you're gonna walk inside the building and inside there is where the photo op is. So yeah, like I said, they took down all the scaffolding around the archway, so this is what it looks like now. It's all gray. You can see it's also been textured. If you look a little closely, you can tell that there are some textured pieces to it. And I would assume that once we get closer to an opening, they'll put the sign up right here. I'm sure they'll just reveal that on opening day or as we get closer. And then it looks like we're gonna have fire again, so that's gonna be cool, but no fire up here, unless they put something up here, but just looks like fire right here and right here. And they've also put up another big palm tree in this area too. I'm surprised how quick they got this done. This only took like, what, a few weeks? Maybe a month, if that. Uh, put the scaffolding up, ripped out the old one, and put in the new, archway which was just a reskinning and all they had to do was texture it and paint it and since Jurassic World's color scheme is just gray uh, blue and light blue it's pretty easy to do but it's nice to see this back up and uh, the whole entire plaza looks pretty nice it's gonna look great once they uh, take out the bands on these trees and the waterfalls going and I'm assuming that this sign up here will be at a later date as well probably the same time they put this up if you look a little closely right here, you can see that they've uh, made a makeshift staircase that goes over the top of the rock work. So I wonder if that is another enclosure similar to the one that's in the front of the attraction over here. I wonder if this part's enclosed as well or if this is gonna be outside just like the previous attraction. You can see off in the distance, there's some people in the water over here. Might be working on the landscaping or the concrete work. That's the edge uh, trim right as you exit the attraction. Before we leave, as a little bonus, they changed the plaza grill to uh, some Mexican food. So let's take a closer look at the menu. I see margaritas. Yeah, they have margaritas, they have taco salad, chicken burritos, beef tacos, uh, chicken tacos, and drinks. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I think this is gonna be permanent, I'm not sure. See, I just got word it is permanent. So they got rid of the old menu completely. So now it is Mexican food. And actually, I'm totally okay with that. This looks great. Oh, cool. And they've updated the signage out front too. So Casina Mexicana, brand new at Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, that's gonna do it for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss out on all the content I have every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.